sword is too much. Okay, I've been officially commissioned to forge Jon Snow's sword from Game of Thrones. And it is absolutely, without a doubt, the largest blade that I have ever been commissioned to forge. So, 45 inches overall, 35 inch blade, that's a big one. And I'm pretty excited. I'm also pretty nervous, so uh, I know I can forge it. But it's going to be a challenge and a fun one, a fun challenge. Honestly, stuff like this is one of the reasons why I got into bladesmithing is because I just absolutely adore historical builds like this. So let's go figure it out. All right. So while I don't actually watch the show, that's fine. I don't need to be a fan of the show in order to appreciate a good sword. And this looks like a sword that is quite beautiful and fit for a good warrior. It's got some fantasy elements. It's got some historically accurate elements. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to do this. Let's get in there and see what we can hammer out. on the tang, which I like because it gives us a little wiggle room. Uh, that compensates for the guard. It doesn't take up too much. It also gives us a little more play with so we can get it ready for the pummel. Now let's see what we have by way of rope. Alright, so we were able to get the 35 inch handle forged out to the proper length. Now if you're watching the video, you might think it seems kind of skinny. The reason is, is because it is skinny, because we still have to add the bevels. Let's go widen it up. So let's go widen it up. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but one of the goals in this build is to fine tune the fine, is to forge it as much to shape as I possibly can. You know, just a blacksmith's challenge, a bladesmithing challenge, and it also makes it easier to clean up when you're grinding. So it's a little more time, a little more control, but let's try that.
sword is too much. What have I done? Far too large. But I think we're going to call the video here, everybody, because this is a very large project. But the blade is rough forged out. Oh, yeah. I got a couple preliminary spots to like mark where the fuller will be. Oh, yes. And it's, it's how would I describe this? Very... Very top heavy. It's a very heavy blade. Worthy of a true warrior? Not yet. Soon? Hopefully. Make sure you subscribe to see this full build, a 45 inch overall sword fit for a true warrior. I'm gonna like this guy. Subscribe for more.